All right, taking a look at the first freeze for our year right now. It is Thursday and yeah, we have a first alert day on the board. So make sure that you are checking on your pets, your neighbors, protecting your plants this morning. And as you head out and about, you want to turn the heat on in your car. We often think about our cars and keeping our homes warm, but it's also important to remember our furry friends. Experts say if you have outdoor pets, bring them inside. They say you should provide them with shelter and water. And if you were to use salt, on your driveway. Keep your pet away as salt can cause injuries to your animal's feet. So let's check in now with meteorologist Tony Shivaroli for an update on our first alert forecast. And yeah, it's another cold day today, Tony. It certainly isn't to sorry. You know, yesterday we saw the changes, everything continuing into the afternoon where things just, you know, bottomed out in the more so the upper 30s. Mm -hmm. But right now it's the upper 20s Oof. and some even a little bit further uh, down than that. So we want to keep you up to date with what is going on hour by hour as we see some of that frost potential, all the chilly air, everything rolling on forward into the start of the day. Look at this right now. Columbia, you are near freezing downtown Columbia to Lexington. How about 31? How about Sumter in more of those upper mid 20s getting a little bit further down there. Camden and Lugoff near freezing and then Orangeburg to round things out in a higher spectrum around 37. But as we talked about areas as close as Manning already down to the 20s. Newberry and Saluda out towards the west. It's just all going to be with this deep freeze for our morning and it comes along with that freeze warning from the National Weather Service. Everyone shaded and purple. Everyone is seeing that threat of a freeze right now. And as we talked about, our southern viewing area in terms of trying to stay away from some frost has the best potential. Orangeburg further down towards the low country and the coast of South Carolina. But everyone else, a little bit more of that fair game as we've gone back to all of these step backs of temps. The first frost, chilly temperatures, and this is something we can also see in a Friday. It's not even just going to be for this morning because we stay in the same drier and cold air mass and as we go during the overnight period and we lose, of course, any of the daytime heating from sun, it continues to crash back down because we don't see a change in the wind pattern just yet. That happens into the weekend, though, and that is where we start to see temperatures hit a bit of a stride again. I'm talking 70s for highs. So many changes with these temps. 80s earlier in the week. Now back to some 20s. 70s ahead. It is crazy this time of the year. We go in a future cast right now, and it's just going to be all sunshine. I'll say that right now. It's all sunshine and clear. Clearing. Barely any clouds mixing in whatsoever. And this just keeps allowing us to, hey, at least rapidly warm up for the afternoon. Today we'll hit a high around 60 or just a bit shy of that. But of course, with the morning hours so downright cold, we do it again for Friday. Boom, back to around 30, a few upper 20s sprinkled in there. But the change for tomorrow is by the end of the afternoon, we get some winds to try desperately to change from direct out of the north to a little bit more of an easterly direction. Even could see a few southeasterly winds sneak in there, and that's why we see a just drastic temperature swing tomorrow near 30 in those upper 20s all the way to a high close to 65 tomorrow. So there you go. As we see things and we go through these motions, it is just all about this perfect situation. You can get these huge temperature swings, really a roller coaster ride of temperatures. And guess what? We see it again for the weekend where highs can approach those low 70s today into your fall cast, though it is certainly feeling like fall, but more so the tail end of fall. We're way below average for this time of the year, this point in November. But hey, even though it's perhaps more wintry feels, we're just making sure you are prepared for it. The sunshine's going to feel nice later, but right now we lack that. So you got to bundle up the coats, the gloves, the hats, whatever it needs to be for you. Sending the kids out, make sure they are warm, continuing to stay toasty. Going into the overnight, we see lows dropping back again with more frost potential. We're not losing that frost chance. We could see it again into that Friday. OK, and then we go on forward with that big change for the afternoon right into the weekend where those 70s fight back impressively. And guess what? If you're looking for more warmth, hey, why don't we do another big switch up again by Tuesday and Wednesday? We could see highs closing in on 80 degrees once more.